kind of old, True. my life's kind of boring, also but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. So. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. I need to order more coffee. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number four. We are chugging right along. It is about 8.30 in the morning. It's a few days after you saw that last clip of me. I'm feeling much better, much, much better. I'm currently in my sweats, um, but I just showered, got myself together as best as I could, and I'm heading out the door to go meet Macy and Lexi for coffee. I'm so excited. We haven't caught up in a while, so it'll be really nice to see them and to catch up. I actually need to get going, um, so I better, better skedaddle, but I wanted to show you my outfit of the day, which I think is very cute, but a lot of people hate. I think camo is coming back as like a trend, and I'm really happy about it, and I found this shirt at the Rose Bowl flea market for like $5, so I love it. So okay, here is today's OOTD, and I just think it's so cute. I need to like pull my pants down a little bit. I just put on my shoes, but yeah, I thrifted this shirt. It's really comfortable. It's extremely like faded and worn in, and I just love it. And then these sweats are from, I think, Airy. I've had these for a while. It's kind of chilly outside, so I figured, you know, I'll just wear some sweats. Got my little scrunchy socks from Amazon and my white Sambas, and that's what we're rolling with. Also, to top this off, to make this even more girl from Tennessee coming out. To ruffle even more feathers, I have these wraparound sunglasses, which I unironically love. Like, I love this outfit. I think it's so cute. I think it's so camp. Camp is like something that, it's like you know that it's bad, so that makes it good type of thing. So it's like, I'm in on the joke, you know? Anyways, gonna throw on my little crossbody bag, gonna make sure I have my money and my keys and all that kind of stuff, and then we're gonna head out and go get some coffee and catch up with my girlies, I'm so excited. This is also my first time being literally outdoors in a week and I forgot how amazing it is. I'm so happy. Okay, first of all, me and Lexi are matching. Twins. Unintentionally. But I'm um, here too. But she's here too. And the other thing I wanted to say was that, get in here, watch the fuck out for these ladies <laughs> in 2024, because I swear to God, they're about to rock all of our worlds. They're about to shake shit up. I can't wait to see it. I love them both so much. I know you guys love when I get together with Macy and we just act like absolutely unhinged and crazy, so there will definitely be more of that. Yeah, Carrie's soon. gonna take me to get Botox for the first time yes, after Christmas, I'm gonna, guys. And so I'm gonna watch take out. Lexi to get her lips done and, and hold her hand. <laughs> So um, make sure you watch Macy's vlog, but she's doing vlogmas on shorts. Check it out. Follow both of these lovely ladies. Happy vlog! Happy vlogmas, everyone. <laughs> okay, as per usual, almost got zero clips with Macy and Lexi because we were just chit-chatting the whole time. You know, we were busy, but ah, uh, it just always makes my heart feel so good to see those two. I love them so much. Just the most supportive, like radically supportive friends. I just like, I feel like everyone deserves to have friends like that, of people who support you and hype you up no matter what and just make you feel so good and so comfortable being your authentic self and never that you're like too much, too loud, too whatever. I just feel like everyone deserves friends like that in their life and I feel like Macy is like a true example of an incredible friend and Lexi as well. I just love those girls very, very much. I just love my girlies. So happy. All right, we're back home. I'm gonna chill on the couch for like an hour because I am leaving 
shortly to go get my hair done. I'm so excited. Drew is in the background running around. He has a migraine and he doesn't feel good, but um, he's also getting whatever it was that I had last week, which sucks. It makes me feel really bad. But um, the other thing is we were supposed to, we rescheduled going to San Diego for this weekend because couldn't go last weekend because we were sick and now he's getting sick. So I think I'm just gonna go on my own, but don't you fret. We will still be getting some Daisy content. If you don't know, that's both of our last names, Dayton and Schultze combined together. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to finally reunite. We don't always like vlog when we're together, but this time we are, so we're, we're really pumped. Anyways, um, I am getting my hair done today and I'm going back to blonde. It's just time. I did this like cowboy copper thing and it's not, it, it was copper for a minute as we saw, you know, we went through a journey together. It was copper and then it wasn't and then it was like kind of copper again and it wasn't and it's just kind of been this like golden blonde brown i don't know for like the last i mean it's been like over three months i think since i've had it so i think it's just time it's time for a change i think we might be doing like quite a change today i don't know we'll see we'll see how brave i feel but in the meantime i'm just gonna relax for the next hour because i don't want to push myself too hard this is my first day like out i'm probably gonna change before i leave because it gets very hot in that hair salon like it's like a little sweet and it gets so hot in there and i don't want to be wearing sweatpants when that happens so might change into like some shorts or something like that i am very excited to be back to a blondie girl by the end of this vlog it is gonna be a very long day it does take like sometimes seven plus hours to get my hair done like it's kind of a lot my butt will certainly be sore by the end of this but yeah i am super excited to like feel like myself again i i do this i like veer off and i try a new color which i love i think it's really fun to do that but it always feels really good to come back it makes me appreciate the blonde more you know that is what we're gonna do next but in the meantime i'm gonna chill for a bit and just recover and drink some water okay it's a little while later of course now the trash truck is gonna come by and make a bunch of noise Cool, love that. I ended up like getting myself ready because honestly, I'm trying to wear the rest of these Newly outfits. Newly is like a rental service. This is not sponsored. I paid my own money. I just like renting clothes because then I can wear stuff and get tired of it and then give it back and then get stuff that's new, you know? But anyways, um, I have to return. Actually, I'm like past the date of sending my box back. So I need to like wear everything. So I was like, oh, I'll just change, get some Instagram content out of it. So like, okay, where can you see this? Can you see it here? Kind of. I put on this cute little sweater. This is from the brand Callahan and I would never purchase this because it's like very expensive. So I rented it and said, that's not like the best angle. Okay, maybe here. There we go. You can see a little bit better. And then I put on this cute little thrifted black skirt. And then I have my sambas on, my black sambas, with some gray leg warmers, because I thought that would be really cute. I guess I can show you in the like full length mirror. Our power just randomly went off, but it came back on. So thank God for that, but I'm about to leave. Anyways, here is the full outfit. I think it's so cute and like fun and playful. It's giving a little bit of soccer practice on the bottom, but I kind of love that. I got these leg warmer thingies from Amazon and I just think they're so cute. So I have this Y2K style pair of sunglasses and we're ready to go so i have two outfits in one day why not i'm literally just gonna be sitting at the salon doing my work i did pack my backpack to take with me so i have my fresh ice water i have my laptop in here in the back pocket i got this backpack for traveling it's honestly so convenient so i have my headphones in there in the front pocket here i have like my charger i also have my little keychains that i got in japan so cute i have my purse in here my hard drive my little memory card stick thingy to go into my laptop, my purse. I don't even know what I have in here. This is my travel stuff. This is a little thing that I stick in my nose and it blows air up your nose to clear your ears before traveling, but that's fine. I have a mask in there just in case. And I think I am ready to go. I would love to have some sort of like snack to bring with me, but we don't really have many groceries. I've been sick. We did go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, but I don't really have anything to like pack for a lunch and take with me. They don't have like a big fridge for you to put food in, so I'll probably just Postmate food when I get there. My hairstylist, Anna, is so cool and chill, and she's just like, yeah, order it. I'll go get it for you. Like, she's the best. She also has a ton of snacks there. Like, she keeps her fridge stocked with like sparkling waters, candy, Cheez-Its, like anything you could want. So, we are like ready for school. <laughs> I feel very back to school at the moment. I am just packing everything because I know I'm gonna be there for hours. So I'm probably going to get there a little bit early so I can film some of my outfit. I wanna film some like before clips so I can film the after when I get home. Even though it's probably gonna be dark by the time I get back. 
what is happening? This is the loudest, I swear, anyway. You probably can't even hear that, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna be there a long time, so I'm gonna get like some editing done and some content filmed before I go, so I can edit it, and then we're gonna go switch up this hair. It's gonna be, I think, quite a transformation. I'm very excited about it. Okay, you know what, just kidding. I did manage to find myself some stuff to pack for lunch. I made two peanut butter tortilla roll-ups, because that's literally all we have. We don't even have any bread. I did some baked lays, and then the rest of these JoJo's. We have two of the double chocolate and two of the peanut butter. So she has sparkling waters there. I will take one of those, and that's my little lunch. It's better than nothing. I pulled something together. Okay, here is a before of the hair. I don't think this lighting is ideal. I'm literally pulled over to the side of the road with my hazards on. This road is closed though right now for construction, so it should be fine, but um, I'm literally pulled over to the side of the road simply to take photos of my outfit and my hair. I feel like I probably couldn't have picked a worse spot for the lighting, but here it is. Let's see what the after looks like. Okay, but first we gotta take some pics. This freaking Octobuddy, by the way, is so iconic. It's like a, I think I've shown it before, but it's like a little suction cup thing on the back of your phone. And then you can just like stick it to random things. If you like taking outfit photos, videos, whatever, out in the wild, it's the best thing, I swear. So I just like stick it on the front of my car and I do my thing. I love that so many cars are driving by, this is fun. <laughs> okay, love that. If I'm on influencers in the wild, I swear to God, I'm gonna be so living. Okay, this has been humbling enough, I am going to go now. That was humiliating. There were people walking around, cars watching me, but we did it. Let's go get this hair done. I feel like you can tell a little bit in this lighting, but obviously not that much. I, um, okay, I have the world's most, most stubborn hair, and I'm gonna need to play around with, like, the bangs a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was, like, contemplating going shorter with the bangs and kind of doing more of, like, a mix between a straight-across bang and a curtain bang, but Anna and I decided that we're not gonna do the Jenna Marbles too much gene. Like, we're gonna stop while we're ahead. Who's honking at me? I'm not in the turn lane. my light turned green but um yeah i'm obsessed i'm so happy to be blonde again i decided to just have her like blow out my hair and not curl it because number one it's like freaking 7 p.m and number two i don't really care i'm just gonna go home and like lay on the couch and hang out and stuff but oh my god i love it so excuse me i love it so much i'm so obsessed it feels like just so fresh and youthful and i love being blonde again i think it looks so cute and i have just been needing a change like i have had pretty much the same hairstyle for literally like the last i don't know 10 years so it was just time for something different and i love it i'm quite happy with it i'm so excited to play around with the bangs and like style them in my own way and like definitely need to get some hairspray and some product and like yeah just style them how i want but i'm so excited and then if i decide i want to go shorter i'm just gonna like hit her up and then we'll go like a little bit shorter but i love it i'm so happy i just sent a picture to drew and he was like oh my god i love it like he was so sweet so anyways he is still dealing with a migraine and not feeling 100 percent Ooh, love the red lighting here so i am gonna head home and we'll see what else we get up to this woman next to me is watching me vlog so that's awkward hey hi okay we're home it is now 7 o'clock p.m. So I was right. It literally did take like six hours, six and a half hours at this salon. It's crazy. But I mean, the work speaks for itself. I am officially a blondie again. I have bangs, sort of. Little baby curtain bangs. It's fine. I'm excited to like play around with them and sort of see 
how I can style them and curl my hair the way I normally would and stuff, but I'm even liking it like this. I think it looks really cute with the sweater and like the little leg warmer. It's so cute. I kind of look like myself in sixth grade, which I'm not mad about. It feels so much later than it is. It feels like it's time to go to bed, but it's literally seven o'clock. So I'm gonna try and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. I wanted to do like a Netflix movie night and you know, watch all those cheesy, corny Netflix movies. We might do that tomorrow instead, just so that I'm able to like take my time. I wanna make a little mocktail. I wanna bake some stuff that I got. I want to do a little DIY craft that I started that I'll show you in the next vlog. So we'll save that for next time. But in the meantime, I gotta figure out what I want to eat. I do have this vlog edited up until this point. Um, because that's what I was doing this entire time at the salon. I'm feeling like ahead, I'm feeling good about it, and I've gotta figure out what I wanna eat, so we'll see. All right, let's see what we even have for dinner. Honestly, what is in this? Ooh, we do have, we do have these chicken curry buns that we got at Mitsua Market, which is like a Japanese market here in LA, and um, we went on Drew's birthday and we bought so much stuff. We bought, we ate most of it, but, we haven't tried this yet, and I love chicken curry, so maybe we could try these, they're frozen. And then I did get this um, like cauliflower fried rice thing. It's not that good, but we do also have just like a regular fried rice, so maybe I can like mix those together. I would prefer a vegetable or something. I'm not like that big on frozen veggies. We do have some broccolini I can make. That is definitely on its way out though, so I don't know. I mean, sure. This'll do. This'll do us fine. Okay, first things first, we're gonna microwave our broccoli. Do this for like five minutes. That's a good place to start. I was gonna do this whole thing. You have to steam it for like 18 to 20 minutes with these bugs. I don't want to wait that long, but here's what they look like. They do look really nice. You can definitely see that there's like curry powder because they're bright yellow, so that'll be cute. And actually, now that I recall, I'm pretty sure I did like this cauliflower fried rice. I tried a cauliflower um, like risotto type of thing and that was disgusting, but this was good. So we'll cook this up, save this fried rice for another day. And then with these buns, yeah, you can just stick them in the microwave for like a few minutes and then you're good to go. Do we cook dinner like this every night? God no, but is there anything wrong with it? Absolutely not. Work with what you got and that's all you can do. All right, and then for this cauliflower rice or stir fry, I'm just gonna spray some avocado oil in a pan and then just like saute it a bit. And while that is cooking and doing its thing, I think I'm gonna make myself a little holiday mocktail. Cause why not? Let's get in the festive spirit. I really want to do something today that's like, you know, Christmassy. So I'm gonna get my cute little ice cubes in me. These little ice cubes I made out of rosemary and cranberries. And that's it. I mean, you could probably put like juice in it if you wanted, but I just did water and I think it's gonna be just fine. And like, these are so cute. They add like such a cute little something extra to a drink. So I guess I'll do like two of these. Why not? Switch out for the buttons. Those need to go on a plate, actually. Does this even count as cooking dinner if you're making everything in the microwave? I don't know. Okay, then next I'm gonna add some little pomegranate arrows. Did you know they were called arrows? I thought they were called seeds. But like, let's, sure, let's do it for fun. So we're gonna add some of those. That was a lot. That was a lot, that's okay. Then, to make it more exciting, which I think we're gonna be doing this more like in an upcoming video where we maybe make cocktails, but I found at the grocery store, they have this dazzle dust edible glitter, which like, how exciting is that? So I'm gonna do like a little bit of that. We'll see if it even makes a difference. And then I'm gonna try this sparkling honey crisp apple juice beverage, I think. Or should I try the other one? Hold on. I lied, I think I'm gonna try this one. This is called Something Spritzy, a sparkling festive beverage with grapefruit, cranberry, and orange juices from concentrate and aromatic bitter flavors. Cause Drew doesn't like like grapefruit and stuff. And this is right up my alley. So we're gonna try this. Ooh, it smells good. Dump her in here. Oh, how cute is that? Wait, I can do like a little garnish. I know I have some like rosemary in here somewhere. There it is. All right, we'll put a little sprig of rosemary as a garnish. Look how cute that is. I am obsessed with that. I don't think you can really see any of the glitter. I might not have added enough. I don't know, can you see it a little bit? I can't tell. 
but it does look really pretty. So let's let's try it. Let's taste test it. All right, cheers. Here's a little taste test. Oh, it's really good. It's not sweet at all. And actually, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, you can tell for sure that there's glitter in it. It's so cute. How fun and festive. Cute little festive drink. You don't have to have alcohol in it if you don't want to. Although this would be delicious with like gin or vodka or something in it. This is really good. If you're going to any kind of like holiday events and you want to bring like a little mocktail with you, this is delicious. Definitely highly approved by me. I'm gonna pour a little bit more in there. And then we're gonna wait for our dinner to be done cooking. Absolutely zero shame about that. Okay, you know what? I've had better dinners, but like this does not look bad. I have one of the curry buns, some frozen broccoli with like a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, and then the cauliflower fried rice with sriracha, soy sauce, and then I added some furikake on top, and then my cute little holiday mocktail. Mm -hmm. Cool. It is cool, huh? We're gonna taste test this bun. See what it's all about. It's like the sausage patty. It's okay. This one has like, yeah, like a little patty thingy in it. I like it better when it's like shredded or little cubes or whatever, but it tastes pretty good. I'm not mad at that. Just realized you probably couldn't even see that. Okay, let's try some of the cauliflower stir fry. Honestly, that's really good. I forgot that I really liked that one. And then we'll do some broccoli. It's fine. Frozen broccoli. Not bad for like a under 10 minute dinner. I'm happy about that. Sit with me a little. <laughs> Leg has decided to join us. I told him I was gonna do the advent calendars and he was like, I'm gonna try things, so he's up. For those of you who get migraines, I'm sure you get it, but he's rallying. I mean, you're kind of like at the tail end of it, yeah? And also, someone got me sick. <clears throat> it's okay. So anyway, we are gonna start with our little jam advent calendar. This has been a treat. And now we're on seven, seven and eight. There's eight. Okay, I'll start with number seven. Hopefully there's no repeats. Ooh. <gasps> Raspberry dark chocolate spread. We can't put that on a cracker. Mm, I don't know about that. I think this is gonna be right up. My I forgot that they I have a beauty guru thing. They have um, chocolate spreads. It's okay. Thing here. I'm excited. <clears throat> Number eight. What is that? I can't really read it. Peach, peach jasmine, jasmine flower. Ooh. Nice. I like peaches. Cute. Okay, let's try it. I say cute for every, every for flavor. Cute. I'm like cute, but it is. It's really cute. So, I mean, we can try the chocolate one with a cracker. It's fine. Oh, why not? Mm -mm. Mm. Ready? It smells chocolatey. Chocolate raspberry. Cheers. Mm, I like it. I don't like that one. Mm, I like it. Very good. I wouldn't do it obviously on like a cheese board, but I don't know. Mm. That's probably my least favorite so far. I'm like a croissant or something. Maybe it's something on warm bread, yeah. Yeah, that'd be really good. Okay, what is this one again? Peach jasmine. Peach jasmine flower. Cheers. I feel like we're bad at this because we're, we're always just like, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Tastes like peach. It's delicious to me. It just tastes like a nice peach. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I haven't tasted any of like the secondary, like, Mm. When it's like cherry peppercorn, I didn't taste peppercorn. When it was like thin cardamom, I didn't yeah, taste the cardamom. I don't really taste. I don't taste jasmine. any jasmine, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's in there. And it's just like kind of blended. I'm gonna give these are probably my two of my least favorites so far, but they're still really good. That being said, like they're both delicious. I'm gonna give the chocolate raspberry like a six and a half seven, mm. and then I'm gonna give the peach like a seven and a half eight. Mm. How about you? Peach would probably be like a seven. Yeah. The other one's probably like a four. I don't think I would ever eat it again. Severe. Severe harsh critic over here. Do better. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Doing seven and eight on this one. This is my C's candy calendar, which like is a classic Christmas kind of favorite, but it's, it hasn't been my, my they like, need to do better. favorite thing this year. Yeah. It's really not been that great. Well, that's not true. It hasn't. Like not been good. It's just I don't know. I, I think after we've dupes, had like yeah. British already, chocolate, we've already got yeah. Dupes. Ooh, balls. Number seven is balls. What are these? Are you? 
little chocolate balls. Are they white chocolate? Oh, it's chocolate. Oh, are these like the crispy? Crunch bar. Ooh. Okay, so we mm -hmm. got these little golden balls. Let me try it first. No, nope. it's just solid. solid chocolate. Don't want it. Once you've had like English chocolate, any chocolate from any other country. But oh, that's true. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Looks like a little sugar. <laughs> Here we have it. Number eight. You want to try it? <laughs> so this is a turd. Caramel. I don't want chocolate right now. No. Very good. My throat is beefy. I don't. Okay. That expression. <laughs> Does anyone else's family, significant other, whatever, call a sore throat? <laughs> Beefy. I only say that because I had a friend who went to like urgent care and the doctor referred to his throat as beefy and he was like, why would a doctor tell me that? Like, is that a medical term? So now Drew's like, oh, my throat feels beefy. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, your turn. Come on, salty. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a Hello Kitty character. Oh my God. Oh, it's a little. Oh, like a little tea towel? Oh, wow. She's yeah. going. Karomi? She's like a, Cute. She's a bad girl. Karomi, the bad girl. Look at her. <clears throat> Cute. Cute. I think that's adorable. We could save this for like Drew's nieces or something. Or when I get my rings, put it over my eyes. Oh, yeah. Temper 12. <gasps> Is it a Tamagotchi? It's a pocket, pocket pet. pet. I'm playing this immediately. 90s kids will remember. I'm sure it's the same thing. <gasps> the sound. What do you get? What pet are you getting? You can select which pet. <gasps> do you have a chicken, a panda, a whale, a lion, a Sea dinosaur? Seahorse. A chicky? Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. It's time to go. <laughs> I got over bed. I'm opening another one. <laughs> are you really? I want. Oh, it's a crunchy A bar. double? Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, I like crunky. A dog. A frog. What in tarnation? Whatever you pick is gonna die immediately because you're not gonna play this tomorrow. Oh, forget that. I'm having a blast with this. You can feed. Take it to the bathroom. Name Jim, May, Sue, Tom, Bob, Anne, They're all Joy, three letter Eve. Names. What's his name, Mom? Bob the Bunny. Oh my god, that's actually a really cute one. Love that. Okay, well, that's well, gonna do it for us today. Bye. I'm, yeah, well, bye. Sorry I didn't get to do anything festive today. I wanted to like maybe watch some movies and make some like mocktails and baking and all that stuff. But like I mentioned, I think I'm gonna do that in the next vlog. So maybe if you're feeling up to it, you can join me tomorrow, but. Okay. Oh, okay, bye, Bob. Bob, <laughs> you the nice. You killed Bob. I did. So we will be more festive tomorrow, or at least I will Definitely. be. Hopefully, yeah, you might be down for the count tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this what vlog. The, what? My head I was like... <laughs> I could kinda... see you go to kiss me, and then you were like, what the... <laughs> why is your head bumpy? <laughs> we gotta go to bed. I, I don't know why I said go to bed, because it's 8.26 in the evening. But I'm gonna do my skincare crawl in bed, maybe read a little bit. And we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas number... Bye. Ten. <laughs> Bye.